the building that I built. And uh, the owner, he ran into some trouble. And I was just thinking, I don't know, maybe you could buy it, put your salon in there. Really? Um, yeah. I can't afford it. I, I just can't. No, no, no. It's the same amount that you're paying for rent, I'm telling you. You know how much I pay in rent? Like I said, landlord's an asshole. Well, folks, you know, everybody's talking about it. I mean, is Brian shady? Can he be trusted? Is he trying to take Karen for everything? Well, remember a week or so ago, I said, you know, I don't think the question is whether or not Brian is going to cheat Karen. I think the question is, is Karen going to cheat him? Because, you know, she said she had the money without looking Brian in the eye. She was the one who said, I mean, Brian was like, well, we can get started as soon as you want. He's like, oh, OK, that's great. But she didn't have the money yet. I mean, she finally got the money in the recent episode of uh, Sisters. But um, it just makes you wonder. It just makes you wonder. With the new revelation of, hey, you know what? There's this building not far from your current location of your salon that I could show you. I built it. The person who owned it ran into some sort of trouble. I'm guessing like financial issues and wasn't able to like pay the rent or whatever. And as a result lost the building and now he wants to hook Karen up with the uh building so it's just one of those things where it makes you wonder is he trying to scam Karen like I mean the other guy that owned the building previously ran into some trouble did it have something to do with Brian I mean was the building like not up to code and there were a lot of things wrong with it and he couldn't afford it and then that's one of the reasons why he ran into issues who knows but you know it's ironic because before it's like well, I don't think Brian's trying to scam Karen if, you know, he gets the construction done in her old building. But it does make me wonder, this is a building he put together. So it makes you wonder, hmm, now if he takes Karen's check, because what did he say? This building here is the same cost of rent that you're paying at your old building. So if he said the price of rent is the same, but what about the operation itself? Like Karen kept saying, Oh, I can't afford all that. I can only afford our original agreement. So if he, if Karen hands that check to Brian, does that mean she like fully owns the building that he built? Because I think that's what it boils down to because how, why would she pay rent? Because if she owns the building, she owns the building, right? Or is it a building that's like multi-structured where it's like, hey, it's a building that holds multiple businesses. So you can buy out this part of the building for your business, um, but you have to pay rent. I don't know how it works, whatever. I don't know. But do you think there's some sort of scam involved with this? I still say Aaron is probably behind the scenes pulling strings with Brian to help out Karen without her knowing it. Seriously, an upgrade. I mean, it's like, well, <sighs> Karen wouldn't accept my help with paying for her salon repairs. So let me one up it by getting her a new building. I mean, doesn't that sound a lot like Gary buying Andy a new penthouse and now you have it where we potentially have Aaron indirectly being the reason that Karen can open a bigger, better beauty salon than before? Again, it Gary 2.0. It just gives me all those vibes. And I mentioned this in my trailer breakdown about why Karen could possibly be calling Zach Maybe it has to do with getting a second opinion on the building because since he works at, you know, Rise Ventures and him and Bryce are, you know, going around looking at buildings and properties to, you know, refurbish and then sell on the market. Maybe she wants a second opinion from him. Who knows? But uh, what do you think? Do you think Brian is legit? Do you think this whole building thing is a scam or do you think this is legitimately? Look, I know a property that could possibly be a better fit for you. And I think two things of note here one it's the same cost two i think this is a way to help karen because it will probably be much faster for that old building to be like cleaned out and then karen can get new equipment and bringing it bring it in that could possibly be done a lot faster than the five months it would take for um brian and his team to repair her old salon that way, she probably won't have to do the whole do it from home kind of thing unless she wanted to. Because it's like, oh, it'll only take like a month to clean up and move into this new place. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Who knows? But 
I'd like to think that's the case, especially with this alleged behind the scene photo, which does seem to reveal Karen's new shop. So I think it all checks out. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.